Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. Um, this is Luminescent here, Luminescent 6 exactly, for the Moon and Gemini transit. Um, the higher active of Scorpio energy is Geminian energy, so that's ability to be transparent in speech. Um, Scorpio does have a hard time, like other water signs, communicating um, different things that they sense and feel. However, Gemini has no problem. So um, when Scorpios continue to evolve throughout their lifetime, they start to be more boisterous and strong. And the advice at the bottom here is speak your truth. So that makes sense. 44. Um, so let's get into it. Um, excuse you. Okay, so here in the first section, um, well, at the bottom of this um, Black Astrology deck, we have 11 house friends. So this is about networking in people. Um, during this transit, the U.S. election is going on. So there's definitely a lot of energy when it comes to networking and people and associations. Because um, a lot of what people think are things that people are sensing and feeling about those that they associate with is becoming more pronounced based on who they want to align their ideals and values with and you know a lot of people are being judged for that so in the first position the underlying position we have the ninth house faith 33 which is the six on um, this card talks um of course about the ninth house of energy which is about travel theology ideology um spirituality and um basically using higher knowledge and a higher viewpoint and understanding situations to in order to establish your the basis of your faith so that you may continue to have it within itself in your life and moving forward so um we don't want to lose faith in those that um especially associates and friends networks we don't want to lose faith in things or we're looking at what type of faith we should have in others um that we are close to and we have the emperor here and the eight of wands so um, we want to have faith um when it comes to who we associate with continue to have faith in yourself number one um own your own power own your power because it's going to quickly number one be used um, with the Eight of Wands, this is swiftness, swift action, because it's fire. However, with faith in the Emperor, you need to have faith in yourself because there are going to be some things that um, Moon and Gemini that you may need to communicate quickly, swiftly, or get on top of. That's going to require you to have immense faith and power in yourself in order for you to get it done and to do it. And it may be done within a group of associates or friends or people who might feel differently than you. And the ninth house associated with Jupiter is about, you know, being in the outskirts um, versus Gemini, which is more close to home and, you know, familiar territory, familiar people. So um, you might express ideas that are different from others' opinions or, you know, background in morality, etc. But, you know, stand firm in what you truly believe is, is very important. So moving on to the second, um, oh wait, no, this is two right here, which you should not do in this deck is 16 Cancer, I feel. So um, we definitely want to be very careful with what our feelings could be separating us to and from. Um, we have the three of cups here. Um, the card that came out, that wanted to come out, that I put back in was the, um, the Empress. So we might have feelings about being attractive or who we are attracted to or what things about life that may be attracted to us, maybe materially as well. You might have some type of feeling about that, values and things like that. Uh, we don't want to use those feelings, um, especially if they're negative, to gather with people. Um, or we, and we don't want to be too sensitive and insecure to the point where we believe that people are talking about us behind our backs because we feel like we should have more and really nobody is saying anything it's just all in your head 3 30 so um 
definitely be aware of your feelings um this gemini moon um things can change too so we don't want to sit too deep in our feelings with the moon and gemini um we communicate things you know randomly off the dome and then we move on and we find out more you know information that's what gemini is about learning and constantly learning so um, we want to be careful about what we feel is going on even in front of or behind our backs with groups of people because it might not actually be the case um, there might be other things going on that we're not aware of and we don't want to jump to conclusions so in the third position here we have grand cross provoker which is a 47 which is a 11 to master number 11 um this grand cross talks about tension um being determined to do something having resistance but needing the discipline to see it through um i do see this being here um in what you should do as a response to um fighting the insecurities and emotions that you may feel that come up that could cloud your judgment um stay fixed on what the goal is um we have the ace of wands and the knight of cups together here with the provoker so there is going to be an opportunity for you to focus on how you truly feel there will be an opportunity for you to focus on how you feel about something and fill your own cup so the opportunity is a situation for you to take care of yourself and let that be the discipline you hold in fulfilling whatever goal that you are looking for and while not focusing too intently on how other people might feel in your circle about what you are personally doing um, whether that has to do with voting or that has to do with you being with somebody who doesn't choose to vote or it can even be to the point where you're just choosing to make a decision this cycle that a lot of people might not thoroughly understand because Sagittarius energy Jupiter it might be quite expansive for them to personally digest so you know just remain disciplined to your goals and not be too sensitive to what other people have to do and say and last but not least the outcome card is the 29 fifth house creativity the fifth house associated with the sun the number five in leo and this card talks about um how every child is born an artist but it's difficult to remain an artist when you grow up and become older. Um, there are a few cards that came out with this. Um, first we have is the Queen of Pentacles. Um, that's someone who's diligently at work to be creative in the physical world, maintaining the creativity, being realistic, um, also nurturing. We have the Fool card, the Zero Point Aries, the new beginning, a new start. Um, taking a leap of faith uh, with the will of fortune behind that um tr that's travel that is good fortune um or just the tides turning tables are turning um in your favor you have the fixed energies in every corner to hold down the turn that's being had right now and then the ten of pentacles with that queen of pentacles so we could have a good idea um, that we're holding on to, um, to just starting out as the emperor. So um, an emperor doesn't have to necessarily be a man. It can be a woman. It doesn't matter. It's just about the energy itself. So we could be starting out with our own little personal plan of action and have faith that we want to take action on. And then we have to go through, you know, not allowing ourselves to be too sensitive to others' opinions or feelings about it. You know, staying focused on our own goals, filling up our own cup, taking care of self. And the outcome is that, you know, you get to see all the things that your creativity can bring you with that being the Ten of Pentacles. So you might start out holding, you know, she might be holding on to this one idea, but that one idea gives you Ten Pentacles. So don't ever sleep on your ability to be creative and start over new and allow the universe to assist you in uncovering the truth about your artistry that you live in life every single day. So um, at the bottom was speak your truth. So overall, that's the advice we have, as well as um, detach and move on and change in direction. So um, things can be changing in your life and thus others' lives because, you know, domino effects. 
Um, however, when you speak your truth, um, it may be to detach and move on for, to something else because, you know, you've had a change in direction or you want to go in a different direction that may be away from other people. Now, she's blowing on these um, dandelions and is going in the same direction that she's facing, even though and everything is coming, you know, down like this, like a six kind of, you know, limit is a six, hey, hey, but it's coming like a six, so what you give into a situation is definitely what you'll give back, so if you want honesty during the moon in Gemini season, give honesty, if you, and remember to detach and move on, you know, don't let, you know, other people's actions, feelings, thoughts, or opinions cloud what it is that you truly want to do, be okay with changing how things work in your life if it's going to make you better, okay, and oh at the bottom of this deck was the page of swords too this talks about having ideas that are out of the ordinary um Ew. coming from the clouds i'm doing the reading so um because it's a page it is a messenger but the message here is you know try it, it's nothing wrong with trying out new ideas just make sure um king of cups at the bottom when you speak your truth you know you want to do so with you know empathy wisdom kindness gentleness um it definitely cut straight to the point as much as possible all right so that's the reading i have for all of us here with the moon and gemini for the collective um the moon is going to try mercury and venus and libra conjunct the north node um on the third exactly and then while we're still having this square to Capricorn, this T-square action or, you know, waves of the T-square still going on from the um, Mars and Libra and Capricorn. So it's loosening up, of course, but we still feel that energy, you know, it's still kind of there because all the planets are still there. So um, but Saturn is moving forward, definitely still moving forward. Jupiter is moving forward. Um, Pluto is going to start actually moving out the 22nd degree as well. So uh, we definitely have some irritation with the in conjunction between Capricorn and Gemini. But the irritation is just to force us to speak out and, you know, speak your truth um, with Gemini. And, you know, those who aren't truthful, those who aren't helpful, those who are not looking to learn more from about who they are and what they want in the world or in their life or trying to make the society that they want to cultivate um better um it's okay to forgive them or anyone actually but definitely never hesitate to forgive yourself you know again don't get too sensitive stay focused on the overall goal no matter what happens it doesn't matter who's president it doesn't matter who's the king or queen of a country what matters is how you are personally using your energetic forces that are within you divinely guiding you are you listening to that force are you complying with that force or are you resisting that change in direction okay so um that's a wrap for my reading um you can log on to my website to book a reading um the rest of the remaining of this week um I do have some free reading specials as well as my nail readings for business, love, and personal growth. Those are still available for $10 off this season um, until winter. Um, you can also read up on my blog, uh, princesslemon.blogspot.com, where I have um, some blog postings regarding the astrology updates that's going on as we speak. Um, I will be doing Venus and Libra. Um, I'm going to get to it. I'm just in the middle of moving and rearranging my life, you know, things like that. And, you know, we're all updating right now, getting ready for the eclipses that are coming um, this the end of this month going into next month. So um, definitely get prepared, get ready, keep detoxing, keep, keep cleansing, keep eating healthy, keep drinking your spring water, alkaline water, all that good stuff, because we are upgrading our energies right now. And you want to be as, you know, ready as possible, you know, keep the faith. All right. Peace.